Welcome to this demo powered by NTT Innovation Institute and the Open Contrail and OpenStack open source projects. Here we'll be showing NTT i3's ESI, the Elastic Service Infrastructure, with a software-defined WAN use case demo that we call Branch Out. Away we go into the ESI portal, where network admins centrally manage their entire WAN topology of branches, the branch connected device details, the WAN VPN networks to which devices may connect, and device local subnets. So let's see how easy it is in ESI to add a new branch device. No weeks of waiting for provisioning here, it's a mere matter of the admin setting some simple parameters in ESI for an Elastic Service Edge device, or ESE for short, then generating a unique token that can be given to the branch site. At the branch, a management LAN connected user simply sees a web page where they input the unique token for a foolproof self onboarding experience whereby the device phone homes to register with ESI. At that point, the ESE branch device gets all the VPN tunnel settings for its WAN interface. Under the covers here, ESI is programming OpenContrail virtual networks with APIs, where the centralized OpenContrail controller talks to an OpenContrail vRouter embedded inside of our ESE branch devices. Just like in cloud data centers, OpenContrail makes sure that the vRouter has only the virtual networks it needs, but here, our WAN extended virtual network overlays are also SSL enabled for secure tunneling. As you can see here, the central network admin has the branch device status at his fingertips. On top of our software defined WAN solution, ESI also uses NFV to spin up virtual service functions in OpenStack and OpenContrail powered NFV infrastructure. As the network admin adds a virtual firewall here from the ESI service catalog, he chooses to put this firewall in between the internet and a VPN named corporate. Additionally, he sets up a URL filter, telling the firewall to block traffic to a website. Here we use ntti3.com for example. To bring up the VNF firewall, ESI programmatically instantiates an OpenContrail service template, and when the virtual firewall is ready, then sets the OpenContrail network policy for networks corporate and public internet, whereby the policy allows bidirectional traffic but with the service chain, including the new service instance representing the virtual firewall. A quick test from the branch's local network shows that we can get to google.com, for example, but that our firewall indeed blocks ntti3.com. Pretty simple, very slick. That's it for our branch out demo. To find out more about automating at the speed of open software defined networking and increase the agility of your business, stop by ntti3.com and join the OpenContrail community at opencontrail.org.